Great things are happening, and I'm really excited about it. After two years of dating, Sophia Ritchie finally tied the knot with Elliot Grange this week. News of their marriage took to social media like wildfire after photos were released of the wedding, which took place on the beautiful French Riviera. The couple, who are 24 and 29 years old, tied the knot on April 22nd at the Hotel du Cap Aden Rock in Antibes, France. Let's get into the details. Sophia's previous relationships have been the subject of media attention and criticism in the past. Sophia Ritchie has had several high-profile relationships, including her relationship with reality television personality, Scott Disick, who is better known for being Kourtney Kardashian's ex-boyfriend and baby daddy. But her relationship with Elliot Grange has been relatively drama-free. The music executive and the model have been acquainted for many years, but they were first spotted together in April 2021, and rumors of their relationship began to circulate soon after. An insider who spoke exclusively to US Weekly said on April 20th, 2021, they began as friends before becoming a couple, and now their relationship has become serious. They have been spending practically every day together and have been getting closer and closer. The couple then got engaged in April 2022. The daughter of legendary singer Lionel Richie first announced her engagement to the founder and CEO of the record label 10K on April 20th, 2022. Forever isn't enough, the bride-to-be captioned a series of photos from the proposal. Based on the images, Grange got down on one knee in a bed of flowers surrounded by candles at sunset. Many fellow celebrities and followers flocked to the comments section and expressed their well wishes. Six months after they got engaged, Sophia threw a glamorous bachelorette party in Paris. She gave her followers a look into the affair on social media by sharing a photo of herself standing beneath a ceiling covered in silver and pink balloons while wearing black pajamas. Ready for the best week with my people, she wrote. The model also captured details from the party on her Instagram story, which included Mr. Mrs. Pillowcases, a ring-shaped cake, and bedazzled shot glasses. After a grand bachelorette party, the couple tied the knot on April 22, 2023. The couple's wedding weekend began on Friday, April 21, with what appeared to be a rehearsal dinner at the Hotel du Cap Eden Lock in Antibes. Before her wedding, she launched her TikTok video for the wedding, talking about her outfits for the pre-event and sharing details about her dresses, shoes, jewellery and bags. On her wedding day, Sophia Ritchie wore a long-sleeved beaded white gown for the occasion, while Elliot wore a dark suit and patterned tie. Sophia posted a wedding pic with the caption, I want to thank Virginia Olivia and all of my fellow Chanel family for helping make my wedding dress so special. I felt like a princess. I will forever be grateful for them and this experience. In a show of support to her now husband, Sophia made a big change by converting to Judaism. She tweeted on this occasion, what a magical day. I want to thank Cantor Nathan Lamb for helping me along this journey of converting to Judaism. She wrote alongside a photo of herself signing a document. It has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Today was that day. Several celebrities have also been seen at their wedding ceremony, including her sister Nicole Ritchie, who attended with her husband Joel Madden and their kids Harlow and Sparrow. Joel's twin, Benji Madden, also traveled to France with his wife Cameron Diaz and their daughter Radix. Nicole stunned in a green gown while posing with friend Light Baruch, who shared reception pics via Instagram on Saturday evening. Of course, Paris Hilton and Carter Riam attended as well. Many fellow celebrities chose Instagram to express their good wishes. As Lily Collins wrote in their wedding pictures, cute. Paris Hilton also shared her excitement. Congratulations, sis, she commented. So happy for you two, love you. Bella Hadid couldn't hide her happiness by exclaiming, OMG. Steven Sanchez also commented under her picture, all my love, with a red heart. Her followers and fans were excited and gave their love to the couple on such a beautiful occasion. As one follower wrote, I wish you a lifetime of life and happiness as you start your beautiful new life together. Another wrote, you both look awesome together. May you always live happily together. Sophia Ritchie, she is an American model, fashion designer and socialite, born on August 24, 1998 in Los Angeles, California, to parents Lionel Ritchie and Diane Alexander. Sophia Ritchie's father, Lionel Ritchie, is a legendary singer, songwriter, and record producer who has sold over 90 million records worldwide. He is known for his hits such as All Night Long, Hello, and Dancing on the Ceiling. Lionel Ritchie is also a multi-talented artist, having won several Grammy Awards throughout his career. Sophia Ritchie's family background and connections in the entertainment industry have undoubtedly played a significant role in her rise to prominence as a model and fashion icon. She began her career as a model, 
signing with a modeling agency at the age of 14, and has been featured in magazines such as Elle, Teen Vogue, and Vanity Fair. Sophia Ritchie has also established herself as a fashion designer. She has collaborated with several fashion brands and launched her fashion line called Sophia Stone. In addition to her career in fashion and modeling, Sophia Ritchie has also been involved in philanthropic efforts. She has supported various charitable causes, including the Children's Hospital Los Angeles and the Environmental Media Association. Elliot Grange is a music executive and entrepreneur who comes from a family with deep roots in the music industry. His father, Lucian Grange, is the CEO of Universal Music Group, which is one of the largest music companies in the world. Elliot's family background and connections have played a significant role in his career and success in the music industry. Elliot Grange was born in London, England in 1984, but he was raised in Los Angeles, California, where he was exposed to the music industry from a young age. His father's career in music provided him with a unique perspective and understanding of the business. After completing his education, Elliot Grange started his career in the music industry, working for various music companies and labels. In 2016, he founded 10K Projects, an independent record label that has become known for signing some of the hottest new artists in the music industry. 10K Projects has had tremendous success in the music industry, with several of their signed artists achieving widespread popularity and critical acclaim. Trippy Red, Ian Dior, and Lil Che are among the successful artists who have signed with 10K Projects. Elliot Granger's success with 10K Projects has established him as a prominent figure in the music industry. His father's position as CEO of Universal Music Group has provided him with connections and resources that have helped him establish 10K Projects and build relationships in the industry. In addition to his success in the music industry, Elliot Granger produced a film in 2019. The film was called The Lodge, a horror movie that received critical acclaim and was well received by audiences. A source also exclusively told Us Weekly that Sophia's parents know that she's going to make an exquisite bride and they couldn't wait for her to start this next chapter of her life. According to The Insider, while Richie has approved of Sophia's nuptial plans and her relationship, Grange nearly fainted when he first asked Lionel, as Lionel said, He was a nervous wreck, poor guy. The endless love crooner quipped to access Hollywood in April 2022. I thought he was going to pass out, but he survived it. I was going to rib him a little bit, but I didn't want to play. He was going to faint. He continued at the time. I love Elliot. I've known him since he was 12. How about that? So it's one of those things where I don't have to go back and check out the kid. I know who he is. They're so happy. And as a papa and as a dad, you know, that's my little girl. So she's in good hands. Here at the Red Carpet Report, we couldn't be happier for the beautiful couple and wish them a lifetime of happiness. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest celebrity news.